So a huge question a lot of Overwatch 1 players have are what to do with their current coins. They know Overwatch, da Overwatch is going down on October 2nd, October 3rd, full day maintenance, and then October 4th, bada bing, bada boom, Overwatch 2 is gonna drop. So we're gonna discuss exactly what to do with your current coins, what's possibly happening in the future using in-game footage thanks to Stylosa, a huge Overwatch YouTuber who's been covering Overwatch like a champ. Link in the pinned comment down below, full credit towards him for the footage. But yeah, let's discuss. Since he, he was looking, as you can tell, you'll be able to see Overwatch coins, which are the paid currency, the legacy credits, which are the Overwatch 1 coins, competitive, which you guys know, and the league tokens, which you guys also know about. Now, the legacy credits, the big question is what can I actually spend them on? And man, is this damn confusing. So let's say we go to Kiriko. A lot of the new skins that are in the battle pass or that are inside a Twitch drop or a um, better yet, just inside the shop, don't seem to be able to be purchased. If you try to unlock, it's just grayed out. It doesn't seem like you can purchase those new skins. Those new skins are supposed to be used with real money, right? Like this is a Kiriko skin that is in the shop and because it's in the shop, it doesn't seem like it can be purchased. If we go to the store, you can see it right here. But with that being said, if we go back to Kiriko and switch over to the emotes, these can be unlocked and some of these are even in the battle pass, but still it doesn't matter. I can unlock them separately using legacy coins. Now, the big question I have is if legacy coins can even be earned anymore like at all, or if it, is it just for now until old Overwatch players use them all? I'm still confused on that. But when you click buy, you can choose if you want to use a premium currency or the free currency. And hopefully most of you would be using the free currency, especially if you're balling from before. This includes the new weapon charms as well as highlight intros, which look, amazing. I mean, like, I would buy a Kiriko highlight intro. However, the story doesn't end here. Because if we switch over to Junker Queen, Stylosa found something very, very confusing. This poor man was so confused, and as I was, as I was watching, I was confused as heck. He noticed while you can't, let's say, buy this Junker Queen skin, you can buy the one underneath it, which is also supposedly in the shop and this goes furthermore if you go down to the punker queen which is quite the unique skin unlike wastelander which looks a little bit lame uh, in my opinion you can also buy that one as well you can choose the premium or the legacy but the the thing that's odd about it is why can you buy all these skins but not Kiriko's skin? And the whole thing is it's still kind of unraveling, but I believe it's just based off of a time system. So something will be considered old at a certain point in time, and that's when you can spend legacy coins in order to buy cosmetics and skins, allowing free players to maybe eventually collect these things, but it'll take a long time, and then when new things drop, you realize how long it takes, and you might FOMO into buying the skin with real money. At least that's that's my prediction. I could be wrong, but it's the only reason I see all of them having a classic coin price, but having the unlock grayed out while Junker Queens is, let's say, visible. It means, in my opinion, that one day you'll be able to buy it, even if it's on a time basis system. Of course, nothing's confirmed, but in my opinion, if you have Overwatch credits, I would say save them, as I assume all the old skins are still purchasable and possible future skins are, or better yet, if you like the new hero, at least you can buy some emotes, some charms, as well as intro. So I would say save your coins, don't go on a spending spree, and see what Overwatch 2 has to offer.